And now let's get back to the story on the building collapse in Lagos, where the Lagos state officials are hoping to account for whereabouts of a worker out of a possible aid that were on site when a seven-story building collapsed at the Banana Island area of Ikoi on Wednesday evening. The permanent secretary of the Lagos State Management Agency, Femi Osoni Tulu, says rescue operations will continue until sophisticated equipment deployed to the site gets to ground zero and that no life would have been recorded not to have been lost in the avoidable incident. Meanwhile, a correspondent, Victor Mbadike, reports that the management of the estate where the building caved in initially kept members of the press from gaining access to the site for reasons best known to them. It's indeed a long walk to freedom, and just like they say, that whatever has a beginning surely has an end. It's been purely four hours uh, since journalists were barred from getting entrance into this facility where the building actually caved in, and it's been topsy turvy between the management and journalists. But eventually, we're able to get to this point. As you can see behind me, uh, work is still going on to ensure that the rebels you know, are, are cleared in you no know, distant time. We need to do things, you know, in an orderly manner. As you are aware, there's a lot of, you know, uh, things going on on social media. So, of course, we're trying to do this as professionally as possible. For example, getting each and every one of you as many helmets as possible. We're at, we're at a life site, all right? So, as far as I'm concerned, the Lagos State Government is not and will not hold back any information because you have to do your job. There's a lot of fake news and uh, negative publicity going on out there. So, on us is on us to give you an account of what has happened just so that you can get the right information and put it out there. On getting here as well, we had a few of our legal state officials here, Las Ambos, uh, to be specific. Uh, and, you know, the report they gave at that initial point was that uh, there were about seven to eight people that uh, they had seen on scene that had minor injuries. Uh, seven, nothing fatal as at that moment and uh, basically uh, they treated them and were if, recommended they you know go for further treatment but nothing life-threatening as the case may be. We have confidence in us. We want to do this because we are professional about what we are doing. We want to ensure that fatalities are recovered, casualties are well treated, um, response and rescue are carried out swiftly and professionally. However, I need to appeal to good people of Lagos State that under the watch of Mr. Governor, we have taken charge of the situation. We are going to carry out holistic investigations of all other structure to ensure safety of life and properties in this place. Again, Ella, there was a report from last summer that this particular building that actually caved in was unapproved by the Lagos State Government. So we are asking, if a seven-story building was unapproved, how then did it get up to that level? My agency can never dwell into this, uh, this place is unapproved or not because it is not, my, it is not my duty, it is not my own line. And the state government has issued issue a statement that they are going to carry out holistic investigations. So anybody that is saying that is a false statement. But we've had a, a, an interview with the uh, Lassema, Palm Sec of the Lassema, I saw interview. Now, what he clearly said was one person so far is still on, unaccounted for. On getting here, we met the CSO, of course, uh, and of course, we, we got a debrief from him, and he confirmed that they had indeed gone through their roll call, right, uh, and they had accounted, according to them, they had accounted for everybody that was supposed to be on site. Uh, they also further confirmed that only one person on their nominal records. Uh, was not available and they also further confirmed to us that him not being available doesn't mean he's within the building. According to them, uh, they, they could not confirm whether it was here or not, but his name was on the register. They've been trying to reach him since yesterday. Uh, his phone has been engaged, but uh, as of this moment, no official statement from them has been confirmed whether it was here or not. And for us, professionally, we divided the area into like four quadrants. 
we move in with our Delsa equipment. The purpose of using Delsa equipment to check whether anybody is under the robust. And when we use that Delsa, we could not ascertain that anybody is under the uh, debris because the Delsa did not give us that kind of feedback. It might take days for the rubble to be cleared in this place, but what we do hope and pray for is that no one actually has to pay for the carelessness of the state government. But until then, it's Victor Mbadike, Silverbet News 24.